Guys, I know I said that the M416 is the best weapon in World War 3, and in a way it kinda is, but after unlocking the Scar H once again, I totally changed my mind. Even though this weapon got a nerf with the open beta patch, the Scar H still dominates the battlefield with ease. And yes, it is a bit heavier, and yes, it does have a bit more recoil than the M416, but the amount of damage this thing does is just ridiculous. This gun can be used in all type of engagements, but I suggest that extreme ranges you switch to the single fire as the initial kick can be quite unforgiving on full automatic, and you probably all know that single fire has lower kick in World War 3. But now I'm gonna give you guys my best setup for the Scar H, keep in mind that this weapon has a bit of a side to side recoil, so we'll focus more on lowering the horizontal recoil a bit. But before we get started with the attachments, make sure you guys drop a like and a comment for the mighty algorithm and subscribe for more content, you've been literally amazing lately and we're super close to that 4k sub mark. But with that out of the way, let's get into the best attachments for the SCAR H. For the scope I like to use the SPD reflex sight from the backpack, which I find being one of the best and cleanest scopes in the game. But if you have the Equa 3 x thermal from the backpack, I suggest using the square red dot and switching on the go to the thermal as it can be very useful for tapping a range. For the grip, I like to use the UKM grip for that minus 30% in horizontal. Here you can definitely play around more and a really good alternative here would be the Jano grip for that minus 15% in all round recoil. Next we have the 20 round mag with puller for faster reload and the PEC 15 laser sight for faster ADS, you're definitely gonna need that because the Scar H can be quite slow sometimes. And lastly I like using the carbon suppressor from the backpack for that minus 10% in vertical recoil, but again here you can experiment a bit more and see what you like the best. You can definitely use the M416 muzzle as well for that minus 20% in vertical, but here is personal preference. As you all know, I like using silencers in World War 3 too much, so I'm definitely gonna stick to them. This is pretty much my best setup for this weapon, so definitely make sure to drop your thoughts down below, and I'll let you guys enjoy some awesome kill streaks with this beast now, so you can see how insane and devastating the Sky Age can be in World War 3. As always, thank you all for watching, and enjoy the rest of the video. Dobry!
твою мать, командир убит! Привет! Hello? 